Hello everyone, this is Alexei with a fresh part semiconductor's weekly market updates. Thank you all once again for following my market updates and newsletter. I'm happy to see your wonderful feedback and will continue to advance the platform for better usability and overall experience. As usual, you will always find there the latest part semiconductor's industry updates. Today I will share with you my recent poll results, top part semiconductor's news in November and some updates on my recent visit to Power Semiconductor's user forum and my soon-to-come participation in Borders Web and Gap event. I also encourage you to subscribe to my monthly newsletter on LinkedIn or Power Semiconductor's weekly platform. Once in a month, you will be receiving a great pack of Power Semiconductor's market updates. This is a great 20 to 30 minutes read, which lets you stay up to date with the industry. And now let's check what is new in Power Semiconductor's industry. Today, even Keynes nailed that silicon carbide technology stands behind the rapid growth of electric vehicles. Faster charging, more compact designs, higher robustness, and many other benefits compared to silicon. But electric vehicles industry is not the only one to benefit from silicon carbide semiconductors. There are many more applications that studied their transition from legacy silicon to the novel silicon carbide. In my recent poll, I asked the industry community to share their thoughts on what industries will benefit most by using the latest silicon carbide semiconductor technology. As expected, majority voted for the electric vehicles, which include not only the passenger cars, but also electric trucks, electric buses, and also agricultural machinery, marine. Difficult to argue here, since silicon carbide indeed got its acceleration thanks to the vehicle electrification. Renewables come next with almost three times less votes, and it also reflects the current market trend, where many photovoltaic companies switch from silicon MOSFETs and IGBTs to silicon carbide MOSFETs, both discrete and modules. This is a quickly growing market segment. Surprisingly, industrial applications got very few votes. Clearly, today silicon carbide associates with electric vehicles, and transition from 400 volt to 800 volt platform puts silicon carbide on top of silicon. We all know it well from the ongoing project running in McLaren Applied, Borgwarno, ZF, Hyundai, and many other Tier 1 and IAMs. However, I'm sure that industrial applications will make a big break into silicon carbide technology, and very, very soon we may expect these applications growing fast with adoption of silicon carbide semiconductors. In a matter of not a very long time, we may see this market segment reaching that of renewables. The Power Semiconductors user forum, which took place on November 22 and 23 in Munich, was intended to provide insights in the field of power electronics. It was an honor to have been invited to this great Power Semiconductors event, where engineers and representatives from the semiconductor companies shared their latest projects, product and technology updates using silicon, silicon carbide, and gallium nitride semiconductors. Next year, the event is promised to deliver even greater experience for those working in power electronics industry. I would like to share with you just a few insights from this year forum. Gallium nitride is to support silicon carbide shortage in the long run. There are many projects of OEMs and tier 1 companies who already use gallium nitride power transistors for traction inverters and onboard chargers. Energy prices in Europe push many companies, especially those working with silicon carbide, to consider transferring their production or adding new in Asia or Americas. And for the most global businesses, Chinese market is still primary and many continue to invest into production or joint ventures. Feel free to get in touch with me to learn more details. Use LinkedIn or Power Semiconductor's weekly platform to let me know. Another extremely important event in my December schedule will bring me back to Munich for a couple of days. And I'm not talking about the Christmas fair, which I actually enjoy during this most wonderful time of the year. This time it is Borders Web and Gap event, which is to take place on December 12 and 13 in Hilton Munich Airport Hotel in person again. The first day, Border and his team will host a keynote session with a round table, followed by a come together to give everyone the opportunity to meet new people and maintain existing relationships. The event will kick off at 4 pm on December 12. The second day will contain two parallel tracks one for silicon carbide and one for gallium nitride so you can choose for yourself which one to attend and gain knowledge of the latest silicon carbide and gallium nitride advances. See you soon in Munich! 
Here are top 5 Power Semiconductor's news of November. Wisha and Xperia announced that they have entered into an agreement that Wisha will acquire an Xperia's wafer fabrication facility and operations located in Newport for 177 million US dollars in cash. Newport wafer fab located on 28 acres is an automotive certified 200mm semiconductor wafer fab that supplies primarily automotive markets. It is the largest semiconductor manufacturer in the UK. Siltronic announced the production of the first wafers in its latest state-of-the-art 300mm fab in Singapore. The production marks an important milestone in the strategic capacity expansion of Siltronic's global production network. Mitsubishi Electric announced that it will enter into a strategic partnership with Nixperia to jointly develop silicon carbide power semiconductors for the power electronics market. Mitsubishi Electric will leverage its web and gap semiconductor technologies to develop and supply silicon carbide MOSFET chips that Nixperia will use to develop silicon carbide discrete devices. Hitachi has signed an agreement to transfer all shares of its wholly owned subsidiary Hitachi Power Semiconductor Device to Minibea Mitsumi for further growth in corporate value enhancement of Hitachi Power Semiconductor Device. The Hanau-based technology company Heraeus has acquired a significant stake in the star powered company Zediant. Heraeus, as a German high-tech material player, considers the market of silicon carbide-based material highly relevant and suitable addition to its other operations. Through the partnership, Heraeus intends to accelerate the company's growth and support Zediant's innovative approach with its own know-how. Thank you all for your time today, and see you soon! Track the latest market updates at Power Semiconductor's weekly platform or by following me on LinkedIn. Wish you a wonderful December and an upcoming holiday season.